And here was I thinking that picking TRV for my DIY smart heating system is going to be easy. Hey guys, today we're going to find out if I've made 11 mistakes. Why 11? Well, it's a good thing you've asked. I've got 11 radiators and I already bought myself 11 uh, smart thermostatic radiator valves uh, from Mouse. If you want to find out more, there is a video about it here. So what am I doing with this? I've got DIY smart heating, which I intend to, uh, well, upgrade it this year to add thermostatic valves, which I couldn't have up until now. Last week I got quotes for uh, mounting these tiny valves into my radiators because my radiators simply don't support. And up until now the situation was pretty easy. I could pick Zigbee 3.0 from Mose, or I could settle for TRV from Shelly, which is Wi-Fi. More about this one in that video. However, today has been released a new thermostatic valve from Agara, and this is what I've got in my hand. And it's actually pretty cool. In line with other Agara devices, this uh, TRV comes with Zigbee 3.0, but also with a promise of matter. Once the protocol has been finalized, uh, matter support is going to be rolled out via OTA. But until then, you can simply plug it to your existing Zigbee network using Agara Hub or one of those smart cameras with a hub inside and start using it right now without waiting for the matter to roll out. It's a very clever move on Agara part and I absolutely love it. So what you get in a box is obviously the Agara TRV, thermostatic radiator valve, and a couple of adapters so you could adapt it to your radiator. That includes RA, RAV and RAVL, so the most popular ones. Sadly my valve type isn't included and I have to change them to something like this. The valve itself is powered by two AA batteries and Agara promises it will last approximately a year. This obviously depends on how often you're going to be switching the temperature and well, how resistant is your valve to changes. If these are new on your system, obviously they're going to take less friction to actuate. Speaking of actuation, uh, it takes about four to five seconds to fully actuate the valve and the device is surprisingly quiet. Unless it's very silent in your room, you probably won't be able to even hear it. To control the thermostatic valve, you've got this really nice ring, which allows you to access different functions via either push button or rotating your ring and set the set point in a specific room. Obviously, you're not going to really interact with it very often, but it is there, it has a nice bright display and you shouldn't have any problems reading it in a bright conditions. But for the most part, you'll be interacting with the app or smart features because this is a connected valve and thanks to Agara skills, it integrates as a thermostat uh, with Alexa or Google Home. I guess without further ado, it's time to pair it. And here, small advice for Agara, please adjust that pairing screen because I was confused at first. In order to pair this thing, just make sure your uh, thermostat displays F1 and then press the button for 10 seconds. Now I know the instruction isn't clear, but uh, what you're waiting for is that for that uh, green ring light to blink and this is the pairing process uh, that will start. Now once uh, enabled, it will take a couple of seconds to pair and I had no problem. Now obviously you will need a hub from Agara. You can check out this video if you want to see a couple of hubs or a follow-up video with IP cameras with built-in hubs because that's what Agara has as well. And it's a great consideration, especially the one with face recognition, which I'm going to discuss in a second. The first thing they'll have to do is calibrate your thermostatic valve to tell it how long does it take to fully press and depress the valve so you know how to operate your radiator. Simple enough and after which you'll be taken to the main screen and you can start playing with different options. First thing, let's talk about the internal temperature sensor. It's pretty spot on, I compared the temperature between the TRV and Agara t and they were within a half a degree of difference more than acceptable. However, looking at the settings, I didn't see anything to calibrate it. 
What's even more confusing is that there is an option to get the notification when the temperature in your room is different to what your thermostat is reporting. So somehow the Gara TRV has the ability to tell when the temperature is slightly out of sync. I don't know if there is a clever AI algorithm for that or not, but yeah, uh, lack of temperature calibration got me stumbled first bit. However, you can still pick a reference sensor, for example, select any other temperature sensors as a reference and use that instead. So there you have it. Another thing that I absolutely adore is the smart schedules because they let you set the temperature presets for different time frames within a day uh, very easily. Just look at that. You can adjust the temperature really quickly, very easily define the periods. However, there is a catch. You can only define three periods in a day. I don't know why there is a limit like this, but you can't really change that. What you can change is where there is a cutoff within a day. So by default, it starts at 8 a.m. and ends at 8 a.m., but you can change that in a setting, so I have no problem there. I hope that Gara will give us ability to add more uh, points so you could uh, define more zones within a day, and that way have a greater control over how your heating works. Speaking of clever things that you can do with a thermostat, A, you can use it to detect open windows. That's a nice thing to have. Another thing is the ability to set a uh, freezing protection point, which means if you're on holidays and the heating is off, uh, if the temperature drops below that point, the heating will come on automatically to make sure nothing freezes over in your house and, I don't know, your plumbing won't burst. In case you have a pesky kids, you can also apply the lock and you can apply the lock from the hardware itself or in the app and that way you won't be able to change the temperature of your thermostat that easily from the interface. Obviously you can override it but uh, it gets a little bit harder and you need to know how. Lastly, you have a big panel for automation, which means you can link your TRV to pretty much anything in ecosystem in Agara to create interesting uh, scenarios. And one of them, it's listed on the website. What I encourage you to try is to use Agara G3H, which is IP camera with face recognition at a Zigbee Hub. Imagine you walking into the house and the camera recognizes your face. Then you can use that as a trigger to set the temperature in a specific room to your desired temperature. I know what you're thinking. Well, I could do that with geofencing or, you know, preheat the house in advance. But think about it for a second. If you have multiple members, they can all have their own kind of preferred rooms and set the temperature to these rooms as they walk in. This way you can actually save money on electricity or heating and uh, nowadays it's, you know, considering prices, every little bit counts. I know what you want to know next. Is it compatible with Zigbee to MQTT, Node-RED and Home Assistant? Well, yes and no. It's a new device, so support for the device isn't present just yet. But I was able to pair it with my son of Zigbee dongle uh, and Zigbee to MQTT without any problems. Obviously, it kicked off about the lack of co uh, converter, which is something I'm probably going to spend some time trying to figure out how to make it work. But within a couple of weeks, we should see the converter available in subsequent updates to Zigbee to MQTT. So that's definitely going to be supported for the custom coordinator, and I'm looking forward to playing with this. Now, the last and final question to answer is obviously pricing. And before I tell you pricing, there is a coupon code for 10% off the price in the description of this video, but it's only valid for a couple of days since the uh, device are released. So if you're lucky and watching it um, at the present time, then you can apply it. So the price is $54.99. And I know what you're thinking, it's a bit expensive. It is a bit expensive, I'm not going to deny that, especially that the ones I'm using, the ones I've got at home for my home automation project, they were about £20, so that's a big difference. However, picking Agara is going to be future-proofed, so when the matter finally rolls out, your device is going to be compatible and you're not going to look at your devices thinking, hmm, should I upgrade to matter? You know how it all works. In the description you're gonna find the links to the device itself so you can make your purchase if you are tempted. Me, I don't have a posting schedule, so if you want to know how this lovely TRV works with Zigbee to MQTT, use YouTube tool providers, get notified whenever a new video is out, and follow me on any given social media to engage in a conversation and find out what I'm working on. As for now guys, big thanks to Agarath for sending me this for a review, and thanks so much for watching. Take care! Bye.